Today's video is about how we add fractions with unlike denominators. And I want to say something in the beginning. The way that I'm going to show how to do this, and I've talked to the students about this, this is not the way that most parents have learned how to do it. I'm going to show an algorithm that was recommended through the Common Core on how to do this. It does not require the students to have to find the least common denominator. That is a skill that I'm going to teach the kids at the end of the year because I know their sixth grade teachers will expect them to know how to do that. This is actually much simpler, takes fewer steps, and this is the way that we're going to, we're going to learn it right now. I'm going to start with talking about adding fractions with like denominators. What we talked about in class is as long as the denominators are the same, and I refer to it sometimes as if they're the same color, then we can add them together. So, for example, if I took two-fifths and I wanted to add that to one more fifth, well, since these are the same type of fraction, the, the fractional pieces are the same size, I can add those together. So that two-fifths plus one more fifth gives me a total of three-fifths. I have three-fifths all together. The problem is, when we start getting into fractions that don't share a common denominator, and if you look over here, it's easy to tell that these thirds and these fifths are not the same size. And so then I start to run into a problem. I can't, for example, add two thirds. I can't take two of these thirds and add them to three of these fifths. Because they're not the same size. They're not the same color. They don't have the same denominator. So I've got to have a way to get them to be the same color or to have the same denominator. This is how we've learned how to do it. Students already know how to use cross multiplication in order to compare fractions. We're going to take what we've already learned about cross multiplication and extend that further into solving additional problems with fractions with unlike denominators. So first I'm going to go from 5 across to 2. 5 times 2 is 10. And then I'm going to go from 3 across to 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So the first thing this tells me just by looking at it is that 2 thirds is larger than 3 fifths because 10 is larger than 9. This would be great, and I would be finished if we were comparing the two fractions, but I'm actually adding them together. And so the third step is I'm going to multiply the denominators times each other. And what that does for me is now I can rewrite my fractions. The first fraction is going to have a 10 on top, and 3 times 5 is 15, so 15 goes on the bottom, plus... My next fraction has a 9 on the top, and 3 times 5 is still 15. So what I end up with is 10 fifteenths plus 9 fifteenths. I add those two together because now I have a common denominator. So I can say 10 fifteenths plus 9 fifteenths is 19 of those fifteenths. The only problem with this is that this is an improper fraction. We already know how to go from an improper fraction to a mixed number through division. So I can either do that in my head, because it's not too big of a, more, a division problem, or I can work it out off to the side. And when I take 15 away from 19, I'm left with 4. So I have one remainder 4. We've learned to bring over our divisor because it stays as our denominator. So this is equal to 1 and 4 fifteenths. The only other question is, can 4 and 5, can 4 fifteenths be divided and made into a simpler fraction? Is there anything that will go into 4 that will also go into 15? And I run through my factors of 4, 
1, 2, and 4, and my factors are 15, 1, 3, 5, and 15, and they don't share anything in common. So I'm finished. This turns into 1 and 4 fifteenths is my answer. Okay. Let's do one more problem just to make sure we know what we're doing. So let's take 3 fourths, and we want to add that to... One sixth. Okay. Step one is I'm going to cross multiply. One times three is eighteen, and four times one is four. My next step is I'm going to multiply the denominator so that when I rewrite this, I have eighteen over four times six is twenty-four plus four over twenty-four. And I add those two together, and I get 22 over 24. My answer is a regular fraction because the denominator is larger than the numerator. So I'm not going to do division on this in terms of trying to change it into a mixed number because it's already less than a whole thing. Only question is, can I simplify this fraction? Both numbers are even because they both end in an even number, so they're both even. I can divide them both by 2. 22 divided by 2 is 11. 24 divided by 2 is 12. That fraction is as simple as it can go because 11 is a prime number, and 11 can't go into 12 even. So this is a short way of working with adding fractions with unlike denominators. And in the next video, we'll look at how to use this same process to subtract video, uh, subtract fractions with unlike denominators.